What is up, everybody? This is Boominato. What? Ready to throw down another episode of our 1943 German conquest. We had just landed in Northern America. Used a little bit of our air superiority to take a pretty good swath of Canadian territory. And now we're just going to work our way south. Going to get some shit done. Now I have looked at this map. And from the looks of things, this is going to be the second to last video. So like I stated in my last upload with the Qing Dynasty, go ahead and throw out the countries that you want to see next in this video. And then I will take the top five and put them for vote in the final video. So, obviously I got 39 unlocked, I got 43 unlocked, I got 50 unlocked. So just throw out some, some countries you want to see. If somebody else has already mentioned it, you can mention it again or like their comment. I'll, I'll include the likes as, as I vote towards that country. And I'll let that run for a day and then uh, check it out. See the top five and put them down. It saves me time, basically, instead of having to go back through all the videos or write them all down at the time I'm reading comments. Just a way to make it a little bit easier on me. Anyways, bros, I bought... I bought Mr. Rommel. If you watched yesterday, I'd finally got the 40% off unlock on him. I needed, like, 200 medals to get him. I ended up playing one more hard mission. Actually, the last hard mission I had to do in the uh, Pacific campaigns. Got it, which allowed me to get the achievement for beating them all on hard. Gave me 350 medals and instantly bought Rommel. So now I got three badass German tank generals. I've got... I feel pretty good that my tech level is on par for any country in 1950. I definitely have the generals for it now. If you don't remember, I had already beat it with what I had and my crappy tech level. With... was it the US I played with? Um, shit, I don't even remember who I played with. Yeah, it was the U.S., I remember. Because I went and landed in Northern Europe, kind of like Netherlands area, and got my ass kicked for a while. Yeah, but I put, I bought a couple perks for Rommel. Um, I can't remember both of them. I put Rumor on him. Rumor is supposed to be really badass at max level. Like OP type of badass. So I'll put it on Rommel, I'll slowly upgrade it. And if it is so badass, and OP, then I will put it on my other generals, but um, I'm not going to change them all right now. I want to do some recon on it myself, see, see, see what it's like. Cuba, you made a big mistake by letting me get that close. Now your time as a nation has come to an end. You know what? Earlier today, I, I replayed, because I like to, there's certain games that I like to play not knowing anything for you guys, so we can both look at it, um, well, unless you've played it too. Look at it together for the first time, but that's not the thing with uh, Hearts of Iron. Like, I kind of want to look like I know at least a little bit what I'm doing. So I rolled back through with uh, Germany, and this time I 
I, this guy, kicked the French's ass. They didn't get me this time. I, I was I was prepared. I played a little bit smarter, like I said I was going to do. I focused on getting the uh, Black Friday debuffs off as soon as possible, which allowed my civilian factories to start churning stuff up. And um, yeah, I was ready for him this time. It's like I don't I don't go to pick a fight with him. They come at me. Like I just won World War 1 just what like 2 decades earlier and now they're already coming back at me again. It's like, "Bruh, I just kicked your ass." I guess the same could be said for Germany in World War 1 into World War 2. You got your ass kicked and uh 2 decades later you're you're ready to go at it again. So I'm kind. I'm trying to decide um, what type of general I want to pick up next. I mean, I got Nagamo, which obviously isn't the best naval general, but good enough for what I'm doing right now. He's like he's perfect for what for where I'm at right now. I don't. I don't need any better one. And infantry generals, man, they don't last long in, like, a conquest or missions, do they? I mean, you can wreck somebody for, like, maybe two times before you're dead. I'm thinking I'm going to pick up another artillery general. Konev, most likely. Then if I do pick up another infantry general, it'd probably be Runestead. I haven't really looked at the generals as far as the uh, infantry abilities. I need to do that. What the hell Mexico units are doing all the way in northern Canada? I, I couldn't tell you. I'm sure they are cold as shit. I wish this had like a clock when you start out a conquest. I like the seasons and the, the year you're in and how many years you've been playing and stuff. I think that would be a nice addition. Is it game changer? Uh, no, but it's it'd be a cool little ad and it wouldn't be that hard to throw that in, I would wouldn't think. I'm gonna have to take out this crap to get to Midway. Last time I said Midland. I used to, I used to, you know, visit Midland, Texas a lot. And I think that's why I said Midland instead of Midway. I almost moved to Midland, Texas. I did live in El Paso, Texas for about, uh, probably close to a year. In my early, no, well, I was like my mid-teens. Go ahead and finish LA off. Right now, the uh, US is shitting themselves. We have Germans on the west coast. We have Germans about to be in Houston. We got Germans about to be in Dallas.
Boom. Dallas goes down. Oh, you, so yeah, I, I was talking about um the full episode of the Empire's mod I'm going to do for the weekend. I've, I've played a little bit. I've got a little bit of tech level. Um, it's one of those mods that sure don't help you out any in like the quickness that you get metals or resources. I can tell you that. But the premium generals, your Zhukov, Manstein, Eisenhower, are only a thousand nine hundred medals. But in this game, they're not the most badass. It's obviously like Alexander and Caesar and. And those added um, Galactic Empire generals. I would like to at least get Manstein. Well, really I would like to, if I was playing with a certain empire, I would like to have their leader. But considering that their leaders are 3,000 medals, that's not going to happen. It would look cool. Playing with, you know, Rome as Caesar. But I ain't gonna grind for 3,000 medals. Oh, and I asked this in the, um... In the video I put up today with the Qing Empire, I didn't. I looked through the comments a while ago. I didn't see anybody had answered it. But if any of you have downloaded and played the World War II mod for European War Four, can you guys zoom out? Because my camera is is like fixed. I can't zoom out or in. It's just like a fixed box. I was wondering if that, that was just me, or, or what the hell was going on. Look, Japan was about to, um... They were on their last leg, and since we came in and rescued them, you know, they're starting to bounce back a little bit. So proud of you guys. After you took an ass kicking, you held out long enough. That's all I needed you to do is, is stay in control of a little bit of your land till I got there. And with that, I don't think Brazil has any ports. This should be it for them. Boom! Brazil is out of there. I really need to up my missile technology. For the conquest. I really don't ever use missiles in the campaigns. Very, very, very rarely. Will I use a missile? And if I do, it's because it, it has a nuke on it, and I'm nuking the shit out of somebody. But in the Conquest, you really need some good missile technology. I'd say it's a lot more helpful in the Conquests. Well, bros, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap this video up. Don't forget to throw down some comments about the countries you'd like to see next. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the ship. I like, subscribe, and I'll see you back here for our next episode. Peace. Boominati. Out. <laughs>